Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below before you leave. I have been loving, loving, loving the wigs that I have been receiving from I Like Hair and this one is no different. This wig is from I Like Hair. I'll have all of their information, the promo codes and the direct links down below in the description box. So the wig that I received is an eight inch Yaki Straight 13 by four lace front wig. The texture looks like someone's here who just got a fresh relaxer. Definitely believable and I love, love, love this texture. This is the first wig that I have tried from I Like Hair that did not have kinky edges. I was obsessed with how natural their kinky edge wigs looked. And this is the first regular hairline wig that I've tried from them and I think that it looks just as great as the kinky edge wigs. The knots are deep bleached for us and the hairline is a gradual density so it is already plucked for us. I don't have to do any extra work which is wonderful for me. Here is a 360 look at this haircut and how the wig looks straight out of the package. They did a really good job. This is eight inches and typically I get 10 inch bobs. So I'm super excited to see how this eight inch length would look because of the texture and the density and the hairline. I feel like it's gonna look so natural on me. And the length too. I think the length makes it look believable as well. The first thing that I am going to do is tint the lace. I have two different colors of lace tint. The first color is the color of my foundation and I'm gonna spray that along the hairline of the lace frontal. And the second color is the color of my scalp and I'll be spraying that on the inner portion of the lace frontal. I'm doing two different layers of each color of lace tint and then blow drying in between each layer. So now that the lace is a custom color match for my complexion, I'm gonna move on to styling. Grabbing small sections of hair, I'm just going to comb through it and then use my flat iron to lightly bump the ends. I am almost finished flat ironing through the hair, but I'm just gonna grab this hair wax stick and press out the front just to mold everything into shape so that it's prepped so that when I start to flat iron it, everything is pretty much where it needs to be. So I'm grabbing this hair wax stick from Cara Care and I'm just going to apply that to the hairline and then use my pressing comb to smooth everything into place. This is going to make all of those hairs just look a lot more polished and professional looking. And ooh la la, honey, this wig is giving me summer vacation vibes. This wig is giving me boss vibes. This wig is giving me everything that I need right now, y'all. I'm about to spray this light hold hairspray. This is Sebastian's Shaper Spray. And I'm gonna comb through the hair after spraying that hairspray. And now we are going to cut away this extra lace because it is time for install. Grabbing a pair of pinking shears, I'm just gonna carefully cut in front of the hairline. I did use a normal pair of scissors or a regular pair of scissors to slice it down the center just to divide it into two different sections because it's easier to cut the extra lace off when it is divided into sections. Now we are finished with our wig and it's time to prep my skin for install. So I'm grabbing some alcohol. I'm going to clean off my forehead. Then I'll be grabbing scalp protector from Walker Tape and I'm going to apply that to my scalp. Grabbing the wig and holding it on its side, I'm going to grab Wonder Lace Bond from Even New York and I'm going to spray a very thin layer of that along the left and right portions of the wig, not in the middle, but just the left and right side of the wig. And then I'm going to blow dry for a few seconds until that adhesive becomes tacky. Now that it is tacky, I'm going to place it on my head in its proper placement and then use my fingertips to press the lace into my skin. So now I'm just going to put my headscarf on to allow the lace to set and I'll come back in 20 minutes. So removing my headscarf, I wanna show you guys how the hairline is looking. Keep in mind that the middle portion of the wig does not have any adhesive at all. And I'm gonna show you guys this rat tail comb um, goes straight underneath it because there's no adhesive there. 
because of the hairline shape and my hairline do not match up, I do have to have some baby hairs on this wig. So I did do baby hairs off camera. And here is the final look. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and let's chat everything this wig in the comments. I'll have all of the information, the promo code and the direct link to this gorgeous wig from I Like Hair down below in the description box. So check down below before you leave. Are you wearing more bobs this summer or are you wearing more of the curly wigs? Are you wearing straight wigs? Are you wearing your natural hair out? I want to know. Let's chat down below in the comments. As always, I thank you so much for watching this video and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye guys. Yeah, that's right. It's Bezos. Right. I, I, I.